What's going on guys, Tristan24 here and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video I have got my Premier League predictions and yes I know that we are already in January and I should have done them at the start of the season. Well the thing is I did actually record a video, it's just, well technically I didn't record it, I didn't press record so um, when I actually realised on my channel there was no Premier League prediction video like a week after, I didn't see the point in doing it because started and everything so I just waited to this moment to do it so in the Premier League they've played about 20 games I'm pretty sure and there's 38 in the season so they've just played over half but um I've gone on this Premier League calculator app where basically you put your predictions into it and then it calculates the um points so it updates the table after you have um done it so on screen here you will see the uh, table I've got, I'll go through from bottom to top, these are just my predictions guys, and I know on some of them the goal difference is a bit wild, because of course when you're predicting games, you don't know the outcome, sometimes you can make them 5 nil and what not, but I've gone with my realistic predictions guys, so um, just predictions, just for a bit of fun really, so let me know your predictions in the comments down below, and let's get straight into it. So, bottom of the pile, I have gone with Sheffield United. I think they'll finish bottom on 21 points and minus 51 goal difference. The goal difference doesn't matter too much. It only comes into play really when there's uh, two teams on the same amount of points. But they're on, I think it's five points right now. Not doing too well, but I do think this second half of the season, they'll pick up form. Of course, these predictions are just based off how they performed the first half of the season. Um, but I think second half of the season, Sheffield United will boost things up a bit. They won't want to go down, but I think they will in 21st spot. In 19th then, I've gone with Fulham. They've been in really good form recently, I do believe. But um, they're just, I don't think they're going to survive. I think they'll end the season on 23 points. And... Um, just in that drop zone, but it could it, it could uh, pick up a bit of form in between as well and stay up. But recently, they haven't convinced me enough that they're gonna stay up. And the game, the games, the way they're um, scheduled, I don't see them staying up. Unfortunately, Fulham fans. But uh, you go back into the Championship again. It's another time for you to regroup. Of course, you won't win that because you've just gone straight back up. Um, but maybe it could be for the best. Team, I've gone with Newcastle now. Hear me out. Don't look at the goal difference on this one. Maybe I was a bit too harsh on Newcastle. 26 points I think they'll finish on. And it's three more than um, Fulham. The reason for me saying that Newcastle are going to go down. The first half of the season, the football hasn't been great. Steve Bruce, I expect him to get sacked within the next two to three game weeks, if not against Leeds. Newcastle, they haven't spent anything really in the transfer window. The team's performance, they just don't have that togetherness and passion for the club it doesn't look like anyway, that they want to um, keep the team up. They're on 19 points right now and I think they're going to get about like eight more points, I don't know if that's quick math or not. but. Yeah, I can't see Newcastle having a good rest of the season. We'll have to find out. Going into the teams I think will survive then just about is Brighton in 17th spot. I think they'll finish on 28 points, which is two more less, no, two more than uh, Fulham did to get relegated in my opinion. So the boundary normally people say for getting relegated is 42 points. This season, I reckon it's going to be a lot lower than that. I can't see many teams getting past 30 points. Um, but mainly because Sheffield United, they started really terrible this season. But um, Brighton then, they've had a few years in the Premier League. I think they've had four or five years in the Premier League now. They'll be lucky to survive this season. They've played okay. They've got a few good results. It's just consistency isn't there for Brighton. 16th place, I'm going to go with Crystal Palace to finish on 31 points. Roy Hodgson recently, when I've been watching Crystal Palace and matches, they just haven't been playing that well. Roy Hodgson, the style of play is boring, in all honesty. Um, and a few weeks ago, they lost 
seven nil, I do believe, to Liverpool, and maybe that's just a sign. And I can't see Roy Hodgson being in charge next season, or if he does start with Roy Hodgson, Crystal Palace, I can't see them lacking with him. I do believe this will be his last full season with Crystal Palace if they do not get relegated. But 16th, I've got them. 15th now on this could be a surprising one, but I've gone with Leeds United to finish on 32 points in 15th spot. Recently, the performances um, haven't been there, in my opinion. They started the season off with high expectations, the signings, the Elsa being a big name for the Premier League, but over recent weeks, the expectations really have fallen. But I do believe that Leeds will struggle the second half of the season, but they'll stay up. 32 points. 14th place have gone with Burnley to finish on 34 points. I do believe that they will stay up this season. A few recent uh, performances really shown the uh, togetherness of the team. Uh, beating Liverpool, it's never easy. You could have said a bit of luck before it fell their way. Every team needs a bit of luck in football, to be honest, don't they? For Burnley, then the second half of the season, they haven't had the strongest of the first half. But I think Sean Dyche, you know, he's a really, really good manager. He's been with Burnley for ages now. And I can't see him leaving um, for another two years. I think he'll spend about two more years with Burnley. Then move on. People said it was right for him to move on about three years ago. Still hasn't. And the only way I can see Burnley losing Sean Dyche is not because he, he resigns, not because the club sack him another team by him. That's the only reason I can see Sean Dyche going. He loves Burnley, but um, I think he'll stay for a few more seasons. And for Burnley, that's great. They just had a takeover as well, and staying in the league this season is a priority. They always go finish high, they finish low, and this is the season where they're going to finish in a low position. Unfortunately for Burnley, it's 14th. 13th place, I've gone with West Brom. 35 points to finish on. Now this one could really, really shock people. Yes, not doing too well at the moment. I think they're 19th in the league. But they've got Sam Allardyce. Big Sam got the best record, I do believe. Well, it's up there. They've got a good record for keeping teams up. And West Brom, just what they want. They haven't bit it. I don't even know why they sacked them. They just picked up a point against Man City before they sacked them. That was like last month, though. Um, and they thought that was going to be a turnaround for West Brom. They will bring Sam in. A few Crystal Palace fans maybe not like him. But if they keep the club up in the Premier League, what more would you want, really? The first season after getting promoted, and that's every team's goal, is to, to stay up. In 12th place, I think Wolves will finish there on 47 points. My reasoning behind that? Um, the last few seasons, though, they have finished high in the... Premier League after coming back from the Championship, but my reasoning for this is, well, you've got the congestion of fixtures, you've got the virus obviously out there, and the um, self-isolate in, of course, and I think that can affect teams, loads of teams, as it's starting to spike again, unfortunately, and football could stop, I might make a video where I think they should, because, yes, it's entertainment, but the players help, really matters the most because if they're not here we won't have games to enjoy and that will really ruin it but anyway let's not get into negatives Wolves I think they'll finish 12th not the best for them but with the current circumstances of how we are today I think that will, they will do in 12th also a quick note Mick McCarthy got um, Wolves the Premier League of course I'm pretty sure that was anyway and Cardiff City have now gone and appointed him of course, I'm a Swansea fan, so they're our rivals. I don't think he's going to do too well at uh, Cardiff. Let me know in the comments what you think. But personally, I can see Cardiff heading for League One, or even the National League. In 11th place, I've gone Aston Villa. Really strong start to the season. They'll highlight their 7 2 win over Liverpool, of course, and a few other big results they pulled off this season. I believe that they will be able to carry on their impressive form into the second half of the season. Finishing 48 points, I think they'll get somewhere around that margin. I think that's realistic. And with Watkins, he's been a huge boost to them, of course. Martinez in goal. With Matty Cash, he's just left a big hole at Nottingham Forest. And it just shows that Nottingham Forest are together. 
have you need one player at the team, it basically ruined them. Um, but I think that Aston Villa have a superb second half of the season, finishing 11th. In 10th place, I'm going to go with West Ham to finish there on 57 points. The Hammers, of course. Now, last season, um, they were in a bit of a relegation battle this last season. But David Moyes, he come in, of course, he steadied the ship at West Ham, just what they wanted. And this first half of the season, they've been doing really well. I can't see them doing it as well in the first half, but I think they'll get exactly halfway through the table. Very, very mid table, as 20 half is 10. Match there, guys. But um, yeah, West Ham, I think they'll comfortably finish 10th. In 9th place, I'm going to go with the Saints. Southampton, the team that play at St Mary's, yes that's right, Southampton that is, um, and really, they've been really impressive, ever since the end of last season, Danny Ings has been in superb form then, and to, to get ever not, Ralph Hassan Hustle, I don't know how to say his name, but you get the guy, um, really, really got the team together, motivated, team performances recently have been Really on for Southampton, just what the fans wanted. And a few seasons ago, you wouldn't have thought that they would have been in a relegation scrap, but they've pulled out of that now and now aiming forward like every club should. Eighth position, I've gone with the Toffees, Everton. I think they will have a comfortable second half of the season. Maybe they would have wanted to finish higher. Of course, every team wants to finish higher. But I think Everton in particular, they'd be wanting to hunt down the top five or top six if you'd rather. In my opinion but I do think they'll just get 8th place this season but next season I think that's the season to look out for for Everton. Carlo Ancelotti come in, uh, James Rodriguez been huge for them this season, Dominic Calvert Lewin is course as well so really Everton have got the quality and they just need to shine through but of course with the world we're living in today I've covered it with Wolves uh, I do think that that might affect all the teams really and Everton as well and I think they're going to finish 8th. Not a really bad season for Everton, but still getting up the table. Now this one is going to shock everyone basically. I've gone for 7th place Arsenal, that's right. And no, I'm not crazy, I'm not. I think we'll finish on 71 points. They're on 29 now, so it's a lot of points to gain. But they've just brought in Odegaard. They offloaded Ozil, who they've been wanting to offload for absolutely ages now but I do believe Mikel Arteta just needs time um, trust the process is what Arsenal fans say and I do believe they should because good things I can see coming out of that club the link with Swansea goalkeeper Freddie Woodman please don't buy him go for David Rea of Brentford um, they've gone with um, Ryan Ryan from Brighton their goalkeeper Matt Ryan that is and hopefully he does well there so they don't have to buy Swansea goalkeeper on loan from Newcastle Freddie Woodman but anyway about not about that let's move on because Arsenal I think they are finishing it now. Sixth position that I've gone with Chelsea they've just sacked Frank Lampard which is huge but they're going to bring on in uh, Tuchel the German manager and, and if you didn't know Chelsea brought in a lot of Germans in the summer Werner, Havertz, uh, for example, they're just two examples as well, and um, he could really get them going with all the team. The things with Chelsea, they spent a lot of money, but they're not all bonded with the young players. You've got a mixture there of talented players, they just don't understand each other though, and hopefully Tuchel can get the bonds going for Chelsea, uh, get them playing like they want to be. If Again, if I was going to do the predictions at the start of the season, which I'm planning on doing, just, I was, <laughs> I actually predict, I was going to predict Chelsea to win the league. Now, I'm thankful I didn't load that because it's been a bit embarrassing, um, but they have the squad quality to do so. They don't need to buy a lot of players, they don't need to maybe sell Kepa, you know, that goal against Luton that you conceded was terrible. But um, Chelsea, they're going in the right direction. The only way is up. That line was uh, for Sheffield United, wasn't it? Sorry, Sheffield fans. Fifth place, I've gone with Tottenham Hotspurs. They've made it to the League Cup final, which is yet to be played against Man City. Jose Mourinho will want to break uh, Tottenham's trophy drought. 
But I do believe this will be a good season for Spurs. Not the top four finish that they want. Fifth position with the squad. Be very good for that for the Spurs fans. Into the top four now and fourth place I've gone with Liverpool. At the moment they're just being terrible. Absolutely terrible. I watched the Man United game um, versus Liverpool in the FA Cup of course did the watch on. What is happening to Liverpool? Every team has figured them out and Klopp is just blaming it on himself which isn't going to help him. It's not going to do his confidence any good. Um, but Really, they need to need to start picking uh, results out sooner rather than later. It has to be said before I think they'll finish fourth. Disappointing for them. Three, then there's only three teams left: two Manchester clubs and the team that plays at the King Power. And that is who I'm thinking are going to finish third. Really, really good season they've had so far, and I can only see them continuing it. I really do think they'll be up there this season. Maybe third, maybe slipping off the fourth maybe or further down but um, Leicester City what a team they could actually win the league it would be insane but I don't think that's going to happen this year Vardy carried them basically he has carried them uh, to success and his legs are already getting older now so will he be able to do it next season that's the big question and when will Leicester look for a replacement striker we'll have to find out soon uh, because I can't see Vardy lasting another three seasons. I think in three seasons he'll be maybe their second, third choice striker. Maybe not even in the Premier League. Leicester maybe. Or well, Leicester be in the Premier League. Maybe not with Vardy. Maybe Vardy will have made the move away for the Championship maybe. Be an insane striker there. Or go to a different country and a different league. But Leicester, at the moment, this season, I think they'll do well finish third. Who have I got to win the league? The rivalry is there between the two sides. Uh, Manchester United of course have an insane start to the season and that is the team I have put second. The Manchester City to win the league but before we go on about that I think Man United are going to finish second guys. I can't see them winning the league with Ole. I've got to say it. Um, but saying that they've had an insane start to the season. They've top of the league simple as that's all they needed to say they've been the best this year but in all fairness no one's really done that well this season uh Ole, of course at the start of the season people were saying second get rid i was one of them people i'm not a man united fan but i was saying yeah get him out he's not gonna achieve much and he's proved me wrong that is what they like to see of course Ole gonna sell so he's managed cardiff in the past uh, i'm not too sure about any other jobs he's had but I can't see him winning the league at United of course he played for them as well so that's the passion and determination but I can't see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer winning the league with Man United but it's going to be close to this title race they could do it Pogba's looking really good Martial uh, not Martial Rashford's of course looking superb Mason Greenwood as well and of course in the next and Till now to the end of the season, we're going to see who's going to make the first choice goalkeeper. Is it going to be Dean Henderson or is it going to still be David De Gea? Of course, he makes a lot of mistakes. And if you're counting it on him, you could be looking at a second place finish, Man United. So, of course, top of the league, then there's only one club left, and that is Manchester City. I think they'll finish 88 points, same as Man United, but just about win it on goal difference. How intense would that be? Uh, but I do see Man United uh, finishing second. Man City, of course, finishing top of the league this season. It's just Man City, isn't it? It's just Man City. Their expectations, of course, every season, really, to win the league or at least chance for it. I think they'll do it this season. As I said before, not all the teams have performed to their highest this season. Um, but I think Man Manchester City, they'll get in their rhythm again. They'll, they'll push on and win the title. But again, they haven't won a league since company was with them. That was the last time, so Man United could favour that. But the the players, the quality of Man City is always high, and I think they all win the league. Uh, so that is it for my predictions, guys. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Just like on the video, subscribe down below if you are new. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, let's try to get to 1.05k. We are 10 off as the time recorded, so it'll be absolutely brilliant if we can hit that um, by February, let's try. 
So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Take care guys. Bye.